Speaking of the, the game tonight, one thing we've been kind of falling into uh, going into each postseason game is picking our two kind of key players, two players for the Canes or for, uh, for the opponent, for the Islanders, uh, who the game kind of hinges on, right? If they mm-hmm. do something, everything will change up. If they if they don't do something, everything could go the other way for their team. Uh, I'll get it started. Okay. This is a player who is playing well, but I think can play even better. Okay. Jake Gensel. That's one of my two. Let's go. With and that. and I kind of have a simple mandate for him. Mm-hmm. I want an even strength goal. <laughs> That's exactly what I wrote <laughs> down. I want a, I want to pop one five <laughs> on five. I know. If he scores I, on the power play, I won't hate it either. But I, I want a five on five. Well, I know he's been like empty netters have become a thing for him. Sure. Obviously, the 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 Canes power play has been uh pretty darn pretty darn good for for a while now. But but I want and I'll even get more specific. Mm-hmm. I want an even strength goal in the first two periods. Oh okay. Right, I want him, and part of it is just I want him to be aggressive. It seemed like during the regular season he was uh, hunting for his own shot a bit more. Now that he's in the postseason, it's it's the thing is he's still playing well, and that's why I prefaced it with it. Like he's still coming away with points or a point at least in most games. He's still setting his teammates up. He's still making the right pass a lot of the time. I just want him to be a little bit more selfish because I think he has the ability to kind of turn a game with, you know, a well-placed shot or, you know, even just just getting it into to the, the net front where maybe someone else finishes it. I want him to be more aggressive and force the issue. So just looking at the four games of this series, as a goal and three assists, all three, all, all those four points have come in the last three games. The goal being an empty netter in that game to come back that that really sealed a little extra sauce on it. They matter, believe it or not. They still do matter, but only five shots on goal Mm. during the during the series. Just five shots. I didn't have the stat, but I could feel it. Yeah, just five (laughs) shots. That's what it feels like. But here's the thing: I understand that the line that he is on with Sebastian Ajo and Andre Sveshnikov. I get it. You're drawing the top defensive assignments from from the Islanders every single night, and they're going to guard you as tight as possible. And those guys are going to get their opportunity. Exactly. But here's the thing. I want to see more of those even strength opportunities. Mm-hmm. Be that higher gun yep. that you're that you're brought in to be. Again, Aho, Svech, Gensel, they're not playing bad. They're playing good. Yeah. But, but they can be great. Like play to that great. Like and do it here today. Take the game to the next level. If you do that, the team takes it to the next level. And and a lot of times in closeout games, I do think it's your your best players kind of leading the way. Yeah. Just over that that last little burst to the finish line. Mm-hmm. So so yeah, I'm looking for that line and, and more specifically Gensel to be a little bit like, you know, it's the good kind of selfish. You know how like yeah. like in diets there's like the bad fats and the good fats? Oh yeah, healthy it, fats. Yeah, you, you start going like, oh, you know, it's all fat. You're like, ah, it's an avocado. It's it's the good it's fats. Healthy fats. These are like, high density <laughs> lipoproteins, in, guys. In, in, uh, None of these LDLs. In 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 sports and in, in many team sports and definitely in hockey, there's like the bad selfish and the good selfish. I want I want him to be the avocado of selfish. Okay. I want him to be the good selfish and hunt avocado. for his own shots within the, within the offense and and not be a ball hog or a, or a puck hog, but but be selfish in his own way. Uh, give it. You piggybacked or we piggybacked off each other. Yeah. Uh, who's your your second key player? Uh, Kuznetsov actually. Mm. You're getting accused that's off. So you're just looking at like the, the new guys. I don't want the people that yeah. weren't on the team a, a month and a half ago to step the heck up. Well, again, it's the reason why you're brought in, right? Game one, he had the goal, just kick things off, had an assist to go as well. It was nice to see him put those points up, especially because he had gone 13 games to close out the regular season without any points. Uh, I'm sorry, with uh, without any goals, just to assist her in that stretch. But if you look over the last two games, just one shot on goal. If you look at face-offs, like about how dreadful the Canes have been mm-hmm. face-offs, he's 25% and face off some of the last two games. He's won four. He's lost 12. <laughs> like, that's not good. And he's only, and this is, again, including double overtime in game four. He's only played 21 and a half minutes. So he's had his ice time cut drastically. He Again, he had the great moments in game one, but only two shots on goal since game one. That's it. No points. Defensively, he's not the strongest player. They knew that when they got him. But if... If you're not gonna, if you're gonna be a defensive liability, you have to balance it out with constantly being a scoring threat when you're out there on the ice, and at least be 50 percent on faceoffs. Otherwise, you're not doing anybody any good. Because if you can't win faceoffs, it means you're stuck playing defense. And if you're not <laughs> good on defense, that doesn't help either. And and yes, Perfost is expected to be out for the the entire run here, so yeah. there's nowhere to hide. Like you're good, you're like Kuzi has to be depended on because mm-hmm. there's there's you know other factors at work. Unless you insert Lemieux into the lineup, you put Kokaniemi back at center. Which changes everything. Which up. changes a lot of stuff. Uh, I'll give mine quickly here. Sure. Uh, Andrei Svechnikov. All right. Uh, specifically looking for physicality. 
of of the the top guys he's he's one of the top guys that can fight back he's he's got a little bit more size he's got a little bit more physicality uh brought up Jesper Faust out I I do feel like they're missing kind of a, a little bit of the dirty work okay. and I don't want Svetch necessarily doing the dirty work but I want him to to play that line between what we saw earlier uh, where he was getting frustrated and picking up penalties and, and frustrating the heck out of all of us, but still understanding, like, you know, part of your gift, part of the reason why you were the prospect you are and you were the young player that you are is is because you're you're big, strong, tall, fast, and people bounce off you and you can deliver hits. So uh, in addition to, again, I'm kind of being uh, very demanding of the top line here with my two key players. I want them to, to step up a level, them specifically, yeah. because it, it, it you know, you're the top guys for a reason. Top guys got to play like top guys. 